Okay, let's do one last problem before we move on to the next section. We have pretty much of the same arrangement of the wedge and spring. Uh, and uh, the arrangement is like this. You, we have a spring of spring constant 400 Newton per meter. The angle of inclination is 30 degree. This is not a smooth surface. The inclination, the coefficient of friction is 0 0.3. Mass of the body is 2 kg. And the distance between the body and the tip of the spring is 0 0.5 meter. Now, when we release this body, this is going to come down and this is going to compress the spring by a certain amount. So, we have to find what is the compression in the spring. The, 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 the largest compression. Because when the body comes down, for the first time it will compress the spring, then the spring will expand again and then the body will come down again and the amplitude will keep on decreasing because of damping effect due to the friction. So, the compression every time will change and ultimately it will die out to zero. But we are more interested in the first compression that will happen with the first collision of the body with the spring. That's it. So, rub yourself with this one and please get your answer. Because this is the last problem and you should be able to. Because we have done a lot of the same kind of question. You should be. Should be able to solve this one. Only then it, it would be justified of you listening to, to the video. So, I hope you have justified yourself being listening to such a long, long videos by solving this. At least you have got an answer to match. Okay. We will use work energy theorem that because that is the thing we have been studying and it is pretty simple. Net work done is change in kinetic energy. Change in kinetic energy will be 0. Initial it is 0. Finally, again it will come to momentarily rest. So, change in kinetic energy is 0. Net work done, we will have to look for which are the forces which will be doing work. Normal reaction will not do any work. Work will be done by gravitational force, friction force and spring force. We add the work between of these three and the net work done should be 0. That is what work energy theorem tells. Work done by gravity, let us let the compression be x. So, this distance is 0 0.5 plus x. So, the vertical component by the which body will come down that will be 0 0.5 plus x sin theta of that. So, work done by gravity will be equal to mg 0 0.5 plus x sin 30 degree. 0 0.5 plus x sin 30 degree is the vertical component. If the spring stops here, by this amount the body has come down mgh. That is the work done by gravity. And the work done by the gravity will be positive. Force is acting downward. Displacement is indeed downward. Work done by friction. Force is downward. For, uh, uh, the displacement is downward. Friction force is upward. So, work done by friction will be actually negative. So, work done by friction will be 0 0.3 mu into 2 into 10. That is mg. Normal reaction into 0 0.5 plus x. This is mg, but the normal reaction is not mg. Normal reaction would be mg cos theta. mg cos theta, that is 3 by 2. And the third work would be done by the spring. Work done by the spring again would be negative because spring will resist the downward motion of the body and will apply in force outward, displacement of the block will be inward, so force and displacement are opposite, so work done by the spring would be negative. Work done by the spring, we know that it is half k x squared, this is 0. You know all the parameters except x and you can easily find out x. If you put the values of different parameters, you will come to an equation 4000 x squared minus 9.6 x minus 4.8 is equal to 0. It is a quadratic equation and solving a quadratic equation you have learned the ready-made formula in class 10. So, it is time to use that and the answer that you will get to, the viable answer will be 34.67 mm. This should be the answer that you have to, should have got. Please check it. If you are not, if you, if you did not get it then do the calculations once again because 
Writing the equation is pretty simple. You shouldn't have done error in that. Okay, so now you know what you have to do. You have to rush to exercise on work energy theorem and solve it rootlessly because this is really simple and interesting one and you should able you should be able to solve the whole exercise in one go in one sitting so please do that and then we'll start the theory for potential energy so when you come back you continue with the theory of potential energy but you, you don't continue with the theory unless you have done the exercise of work on work energy theorem